The Link Between Taste and Smell by Sierra Dujon. Now, taste and smell both work by having specific receptors designed to detect the presence of substances like sugar, acid, and other molecules and compounds. Now, there are five main taste sensations that our tongues can detect. Sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami, also known as savory. You're probably familiar with the first four. You've definitely tasted umami, but you might not think of it as its own separate taste. It's that meatiness and earthiness present in soy sauce, cheese, ripe tomatoes, or mushrooms. Each of these five basic tastes is associated with a different kind of taste bud, or receptor on the tongue that tells the neurons to fire off signals when certain substances touch them. People have anywhere between 2,000 and 8,000 taste buds in their tongue. Taste buds die off and regrow quickly, living on average for only about five days. For taste buds that detect sweetness, they're detecting the sugar molecule. For taste buds that detect saltiness, they're detecting sodium. Some umami taste buds actually respond directly to the chemical MSG, which is sometimes used to enhance flavor, particularly in Asian cuisines. The tongue can feel additional sensations that are not exactly tastes, but which are still made by compounds activating certain receptors. Fattiness and mintiness are examples of this. There are receptors which respond to certain compounds in fatty and minty foods. The burning sensation you feel when you eat spicy food or drink alcohol is another kind of nerve reaction that's not directly related to taste. As for smell, your nose has odor receptor neurons that respond to tons of different substances that can be floating in the air. A neuron will only fire if a particular odor molecule comes along and activates it. This is known as a lock and key system. Even the human nose can tell apart almost 10,000 odors, and our sense of smell is way less developed than other mammals. As we age, our noses gradually get less sensitive, and this actually happens with taste as well. While browsing YouTube, I came across other people who have performed similar experiments. Hi everyone, my name's Tim and this is the taste test. Now what we're going to do is we're going to see just how well people's taste, uh, sense of taste goes when their sense of sight and also their sense of smell is taken away. So what we have down here is some different flavoured juices. To start with, we have orange juice. Over here, we have pineapple and orange juice. And finally, we have pineapple and passion fruit juice. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to disguise them by putting in some red food colouring. So I'm going to start over here, put some red food colouring in there, and give it a nice stir around. Disguise that colour. Do the same thing over here. Give it a stir around. And finally, finish off over here. So now that they have changed colours, we're going to lose the cartons. And what we're going to do is I'm going to call someone over and they're going to see just how well their sense of taste does. Rachel, can you come over here? Now, Rachel, I want you to try these different drinks here and tell me which flavour is which. Can you try this one? What flavour is that? That's definitely orange juice, Tim. Very well done, Rachel. So that's the first one. How about the second one? Well, I can smell the pineapple already, so I think it's pineapple and orange juice. Pineapple and orange, very well done. And how about, lucky last, this one here? Well, that tastes like pineapple too, but with an undertone of passion fruit. Very well done. Thank you, Rachel. You can step off now. Now, that was pretty easy. Let's see if we can do it with someone who doesn't have their sense of smell and someone who's also been in the cone of silence. David, can you come across? You don't, look Hi, you don't look too well. No, I think I've had a bit of a cold. I can't smell anything. Okay. Can you try this one here? Oh, all right. Is it tomato juice? Uh, yeah. Nice try, David. Uh, Let's try again. Uh, maybe you get this one. All right. Uh, uh, let me know. Uh, tomato soup. Is that uh, it? Yeah, uh, no, uh, no. How about third time lucky? Let's try really hard this time, David. I think I've got this one. Yes, yes. It's bath water, isn't it, Tim? It's bath water. Uh, no, thank you, David. Uh. If you want to find out why David wasn't able to taste those drinks, then head to the Questacon Science Squad website. Catch you next time. In my experiment, I will have a control group and an experimental group. 
In the control group, the subject will be required to try three different flavors of yogurt while blindfolded and repeat to me the flavors they are tasting. I don't get this. Am I She's supposed to control group. Am I supposed to tell you what it is? Yes. Yeah. Peach. Blueberry. It's in front of your face. Cherry. She's done. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely peach. Definitely peach. Second flavor coming your way. Banana. Too. Cherry? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I hypothesize that when a person's sense of smell is distracted, they will not be able to decipher the flavor of what they are eating. What's your smell? Can you smell it? Peach, peach, never mind, peach. I don't know what I was thinking. It's peach. <laughs> Alright, open it up. Oh, strawberry. And here's your smell. You smell it? Mm -hmm. Alright, open it up. You don't know? I don't know. Alright. Here's the smell. Can you smell it? Mm hmm. Okay, now let's go open your mouth. Strawberry. Okay. I think. Alright, here comes the smell. Can you smell it? Mm hmm. It's very minty. Open. Mm. Mm. Taste berry, like blueberry maybe. Right, here's the smell. Here's the yogurt. Mm. Right, what do you think it is? Strawberry. It's like the same one I've been tasting. All right. You need. When conducting my experiment on the control group, I noticed that the subjects were able to guess the flavors much faster than the people in the experimental group, who often struggled to guess the flavors right away. When conducting my experiment for the experimental group, I found that all of the people that did guess at least one of the flavors correctly were always guessing the flavor peach correctly. Maybe this is because peach has a more obvious flavor than blueberry and cherry, which may taste similar to each other. In conclusion, I found that it is in fact true that it is harder for people to decipher the flavors of what they are tasting when their sense of smell is distracted, but it is not impossible. Some things that may have compromised my experiment were not changing the spoon in between yogurts, not rinsing the person's mouth in between yogurts, and there was an uneven amount of boys and girls. Thank you for watching my psychology experiment on taste and smell.